All right, guys, thanks for joining me this morning and thanks for joining TalkSport. Uh, one night removed from an incredible main event at Worlds Collide. Wasn't the result that you wanted, but my God, um, what a showcase that was for NXT and NXT UK, right? Yeah, well, yeah, it was great here. I'll, I'll yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll switch back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One between uh, two, it's fine. Yeah, it was great. Like, like, again, just thinking of the development of not just NXT, but also NXT UK, with, with seeing the way everything has grown to the point where we got to do like a takeover level event yeah. with, again, NXT stars versus NXT UK stars. A, a bunch of people turned up to watch it. A lot of really cool dream matches for a lot of people. Uh, it was a blast. Yeah, mm. it's really, really cool. I, I know for sure, I know the four of us definitely would love to do something like that again. I mean, one thing, and, and uh, speaking as an Undisputed Era fan here, it's cool when you, when, yeah, when you fall. Yeah, well, that's it. My integrity, gone. Uh, <laughs> But it's cool when you actually get to do these uh, eight men, you know, it's, it's rare that we actually get all four of you so creatively putting together that match. That must be like a thrill, I guess, for all of you. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this, this group here, I mean, we do everything together and rarely do we get to do eight man tag matches. So yeah, it, it's, it was a treat, man. And then we got to go over uh, to Blackpool for the NXT UK takeover was, yeah, as well. Man. And that's what set this whole match up. Uh, so getting to experience that in front of the, the British fans was just uh, next level stuff. Because th that's the thing too, is we've done eight mans before in the past obviously, but that was the most high profile yes. eight man that we've had. Yeah. So it was cool to be in that position where we were main event as the complete package of the Undisputed Era. Yeah, yeah, cool. exactly. Uh, yeah, well, there you have it. I mean, and you just said, we'll double back to the match in a second, but Man, the roof came off in Blackpool when you guys came out, right? Like, like, I mean, you knew right then, man, this is like, that's magic, right? And, and I feel like it, as the match, and it, it just delivered. Uh, how was that pressure coming into it? I, I guess it's not pressure, you're just excited? Yeah, so, and then I'll let Roddy chime in here too. But the, uh, like, going back to the Blackpool thing, with, again, with the crowd and stuff like that, that was one of those moments where you remember forever. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, we never lose sight on stuff like that. Do all of you, like, you're aware of how, I hate to say like these words, but over in in the UK, do just you know what how I mean? cool you it was. It? Like like I love surprises in wrestling. Like that's one of my favorite things. So to be involved in something where everyone in that building had no idea we were there, mm. and then we showed up, and there's that reaction of like, oh my god, they're here, and they were really excited. That's one of the coolest things. So mm. yeah, definitely didn't lose sight of that. And something about the UK fans, they're always just louder i don't know what it <laughs> yeah. is but they're always just tremendous because you've been to like progress in places like that True. as well yeah, right? and yeah, it's, yeah, and of course and it's always been like that yeah i think the the blackpool thing did a, a good job of like uh creating that air of of unpredictability and it's now it's our job to like carry that with us wherever we go mm. and i feel like that's what we're doing you know moving it forward and it's it's really it's just the perception of like you don't know where these guys are going to turn up they do what they want, when they want, where they want, and like you know, I'm, I, I, I don't know. I, I, for me, that's something that I, uh, I really think it adds a layer to to all of it. A hundred percent, and then just the opportunity then to have the match. And you know, Imperium's been doing great over in NXT UK, but it was, it was kind of an opportunity to raise their stock. Yes. Against us, and, and it's special. Like those kind of moments, you know, mean a lot to me. Where we can help elevate these guys as well. You know, because we're in the position. Like, being in the position that we're in is, is great, but what we can do with the power of it yeah. is yeah. what is really yeah. freaking cool. 100%. We pride yeah. ourselves on trying yeah. to make other guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 100%. Forward, yeah. And we're the measuring stick. That's, that's what I mean. Let's face it. I mean, and that's, that's cool as well, because you haven't had to go to the main roster. We, 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 we've talked about this before. Yeah. You don't have to make a, a step up. Now, it's not like that anymore. Yeah. You, you guys are firmly established for what you are yeah. and with NXT. Yeah. Well, that must be cool for you too. Like you've, you've come up with the brand is up with you too. That's all well, cool. that's the thing. Too. I know everyone's been saying this now, but it's no longer, if, if the four of us were to go to Raw or SmackDown, like you said, it's not moving up. We would just be moving mm. to Raw or moving to SmackDown. But now more than ever, I don't want to speak for these guys, but for me, it's so cool to be a part of something that's growing yeah. and, and being involved at watching NXT, the brand, continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger globally. So I selfishly really want to be a part of that. I, I love that we're here. I love that we're getting to do all this new, really, really cool stuff. Yeah. And yeah, I, I am in no rush uh, whatsoever to leave NXT. Yeah. I feel exactly the same. Like you just look at like the markers of your career, 
you know, I had the opportunity with with the Ring of Honor and stuff to kind of do the same and, and be a part of that. There, mm. there really is is nothing better in, in building the trust of the company to be like, hey, you guys are going to be in the forefront of that and that's what you guys are going to do is help, yeah, and, yeah, and depend on us. And that's, you know, personally just uh, – I take a lot of pride in that, and, and so do these guys. And, and that's cool that we we do that together. Yeah. We're like, yeah, yeah let's. <laughs> but yeah, we're yeah. we're in the forefront of that because this is is real. This is as Authentic. real as it gets. Yeah. Like, I mean, we we all came up together in in different companies doing it like on the climb, and and whether that was Ring of Honor or or stuff overseas, other places, progress you mentioned, and mm-hmm. New Japan and different stuff. Like, I mean, we like this is. This is as real as it gets, yeah, yeah. honestly. Um, just to circle back to last night quickly, uh, obviously we saw Alexander get hurt in the match. Um, now, I guess a bit of a two-pronged question here. One, how hard was it to adjust what you might have had mapped out? Because, I mean, as I said earlier, you wouldn't know how awesome you know the match was. That, But obviously that affects a lot, taking a man out of the things that you have going on. Uh, and two, what do we know about him now? Is he? Is, how was he doing when you see him backstage? Uh, what's the deal? I... I mean, we're professionals, period. Yeah. And that's, that's what we do. It's our job to handle whatever's thrown our way. And uh, I, I know, I, I, don't, I, I, I feel like I can speak for all four of us. Like, we take pride in that. Yeah. Well, you had and a situation recently, throw, right, on NXT where you had to come out. And, yeah. And, yeah, so yeah. you... And again, and here comes Roddy in his underwear, and, or in his <laughs> jeans with his Calvin Klein's hanging out the back. And same thing. Yeah. Like, it, you know, we, we, we do that as seamlessly as possible, and uh, we, we <clears throat> feel like we don't miss a beat, and yeah, that's yeah. what makes us who we are. And going off of what, uh, oh, thank you, going, going off of what uh, Bobby said, obviously the ideal situation is not for something like that to happen, mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. course. But, again, that really shows the difference between guys who are ready for the position or yep. guys who aren't. When, when you're put in a spot like that where stuff does not go as planned or not yep. the way you want it to go, mm-hmm. we're the main event of a, of a huge event. So we got to make sure the event still delivers. Yeah. And, and uh, as far as I know, uh, Wolf is okay. Uh, yeah. But again, just a, a freak thing. It yeah. was unfortunate that it happened. I saw him walking around earlier this morning. He's, oh. yeah. He's good. So, yeah. yeah, happy. <laughs> happy as anything. <laughs> He can't find his room. Yeah. <laughs> That's a bad joke. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I guess then to, to close, uh, all of you I know have experience in the UK. As I mentioned earlier, we're launching our first radio show in, in maybe a decade, Talk Wrestling. Uh, talk to me about what the English fans have meant to you down the years. Um, I know that you've all seen how loud that they can be and receptive to the Undisputed Era collectively. Um, isn't it cool all the things that are happening in the UK right now because the WWE is everywhere but so is NXT and NXT UK it's all growing as one so the, the part of why a huge part of why NXT is so special is that fan base again they're some of the most passionate hardcore loud fans uh, on the entire planet but when I think of that like literally at the top of the list is the UK fans mm. no, no matter what event that I've ever done it, whether it's in front of 100 people or in front of 5,000 people the UK fans are there to have an amazing time the entire time yeah. they, they, I feel like they know everything about uh, everyone on the show if, if they're unfamiliar with someone they give them a proper chance uh, yeah. to enjoy really what's going on so to me for all of this to happen uh, uh, for them and, and them getting to again get all this new wrestling coming in it's it's well deserved because mm. again they're some of the best fans on the entire planet i really hope uh you know they rub off on the on the fans of the united states mm. and just you know let them see how much of a good time it can be yeah you know and, and kind of change the the environment of what pro wrestling is in the united states when yeah. it comes to the fan base i think over time, there's going to be a huge influence on them. Well, yeah. to add to what Roddy's saying, I think the NXT UK fans, or just the UK fans in general, yeah. are ahead of the curve. Yeah. Um, they influence the fans over here, like a lot of the chants and, and the singing and everything. Like before uh, the UK fans, nobody was saying, this match is scheduled for one fall. One fall! <laughs> that was, they started a lot of that stuff. Sorry, sorry, I noticed happening cool. going over there for indies, and then it would pick up in the States, and yeah, so it's just super cool. Yeah. 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 This is a college football reference, but I think Texas A&M, I think they call the 
the fans there, they, they, uh, the 12th man. Yeah. So there's 11, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. It kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Yeah, oh, awesome. Thank such a part of it. Thank you so much, guys, uh, for taking the time to talk to us today. Oh, thank uh, you. Really appreciate it. Oh.